Hi, I'm Jakob from Torso Electronics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync the S4 using the MIDI and analog in and outs. In this first example, we are connecting the Electron Digitact to the MIDI in of the S4. This means that the Digitact will be in charge of the clock. We connect the two machines using the MIDI in on the back of the S4. The sync configuration can be found under the config menu and then MIDI. As we are receiving a clock from the Digitact, we enable clock in and start stop on the S4. On the external gear that we are using to sync the S4, make sure that settings are configured accordingly so a clock is being sent. In this example, the S4 plays three tape loops and has one track with drums coming in from the Digitacts. And everything, of course, is processed in sync with the external clock. Another use case for syncing a device with the S4 could be with an external sequencer. Here we see the T1 in action, sending clock and MIDI notes over USB. The configuration on the S4 is the same, but we now use the USB ports on both the T1 and S4. And since the T1 is bus powered, we can plug it directly into the S4. This example has three tracks with the poly device sequenced by the T1. Track 4 is a tape loop with rain turned into percussive hi-hats. The S4's modulators are in sync with the T1's clock and help bring life and variation to the composition. In this last example, we are using the S4's analog sync output to send a clock to the Moog Mother 32. The S4 is always sending out a clock from the sync out port, so there's no need to set up the S4 any further. The S4 sends out 24 PPQN for its analog clock, so remember to configure your external gear if you need to. We're using bypass on track 1 for the Mother 32, while live processing the input. And lastly, we have some filtered and tuned field recordings to provide the rest of the soundscape in this track. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.